Well, after a dreary start to the day, it turned into a perfect May afternoon. Kate joins us live from home with a look at how long this great weather is going to stick around. So beautiful out there. Thanks so much, Jessica. It is. It is a gorgeous evening outside. I've got my flowers in bloom. It's cool and comfy in the shade, warm in the sunshine. I just had to drag all my equipment outside for this beautiful, beautiful May day. We haven't had that many days in May that have been above average like this, so I hope you got a chance to get out and enjoy it as well. Let's take a look at how long this is going to last. We'll start off with a live look at the city, which looks great this evening. We've got blue sky and a few puffy clouds. Now, this morning didn't look quite so great when you woke up but it turned into something beautiful, and I think tomorrow will be much the same. Current conditions across the region, though, you can see the farther east you go toward the coast, the cooler it is. It's 70 at the Atlantic City Airport. That's a few miles inland. You head down along the immediate coast on the beach. It's only in the 60s. 67 in Wildwood, 72 in Millville, but further north and west, it's 85 in Redding, 83 in Lancaster, 83 in Allentown, and up into portions of New York State, it's actually in the 90s today. Looking ahead, we'll still be in the upper 70s at 8 p.m. Good evening for a walk after dinner perhaps 10 o'clock 69 and we'll keep it in the 60s overnight but fog will form once again as the dew points rise warm steamy air works its way in we will be dealing with fog for the next several mornings as of now you can see all the shower and thunderstorm activity kind of rotating by to the west but it will start to creep a little bit closer and by thursday and friday things will turn steamier and a bit more unsettled today probably the nicest day of the work week tomorrow looks okay and then it starts to tie the of trend downward, even though the temperatures will be trending upward. Tonight's low 63 degrees, partly cloudy and mild with areas of fog developing. You can see on future visibility by just after midnight, visibility is down to near only a mile or less than a mile, Philadelphia and across the entire region. Tomorrow at 9 a.m., especially in Dover and Wildwood, visibility near zero. It gets better in the afternoon, but then again Thursday morning, we've got visibilities down to half a mile or below across much of the area. So the next couple of days, the fog will be an issue. We actually do have a dense fog advisory starting at midnight and continuing until 11 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you're planning on working from home, sitting outside, kind of like I'm doing today, well, tomorrow looks pretty nice in the afternoon, a bit of a gloom we start, but then we warm up to the 70s with a good deal of sunshine later in the day. Future weather showing relatively quiet conditions for today and tomorrow. You can see maybe a stray sprinkle tomorrow, but certainly a better chance late Thursday than by Friday afternoon right there. That's when we have our best chance for a few scattered showers and storms. We're also closely watching this tropical disturbance off the coast of Florida and the Carolinas for potential development into a tropical storm, a 30% chance of that as of now. So warm and steamy through Saturday, then a cold front comes through and Jessica, then it's cooler, less humid, breezy and beautiful Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. Just so refreshing blast of cooler air to start the month of June. Sounds good to me, Kate. Thank you.